When your faith is in God, there is always hope because there is someone and something always bigger that can alter your sins, that can alter your weaknesses, that can alter your struggle to bring order to the chaos in your life for a greater purpose. Right now, we live in a world where our, in my opinion, our leadership and a majority of our cultural influences put their, they don't put their faith in God. How's it going for us? How's it going? Not well. If you believed in nothing else, look at our, the direction of our country when our country is rooted in a godless existence. But when your faith is in God, when this is where you choose to place your reasonable faith, it changes not only your outlook on the past, but it changes your outlook on the future. The God who, who brought, who took chaos, he brought it into the cosmos, who brought order to everything, who didn't just create and bring order, who sustains life and brings purpose to life. It changes how you live. I mean, do you realize what you are able to live through with great confidence if you place your faith in God? Do you guys remember Acts, when our last couple series ago, we went through the first seven chapters of Acts. And in Acts 4, a couple of the apostles, they got persecuted. And they came back and they told the other believers what had happened. And what did they do? They prayed. They rejoiced and they prayed. Here's how they started out their prayer. Lord, you are God. You created the heavens, the earth, the sea, and everything that is in them. That's how they begin their prayer. God, you created it all. And then they go on to pray for a really hefty thing. They say, Lord, give us boldness to preach your gospel and help us to have courage to face the persecution we know that's coming. I guarantee you, they could not have prayed the second part if they didn't proclaim the first part. You created the heavens, you created the earth, you created the sea. Then whatever I pray for, I know that if you did that, you can certainly answer this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you what I need, but before I do that, I'm gonna recognize who you are. That's why we sing every morning, not because we got great voices, because we are reminding ourselves that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We're remembering who he is. And when you remember who he is, you're going to find the faith and hope in this world comes to you quite easily. When your life is built on, in the beginning, God.